because some of the big energy efficient, you know, efforts. So for example, solar power panels, the inverters on solar. So the way solar power, you know, works is that you've got, you know, your panels somewhere on your property, on your roof, wherever they happen to be, you know, they're collecting energy from the sun and the, and the electricity that they produce is a direct current. But what we need to feed, you know, the outlets in a home is alternating current. So um, there is an inverter or inverters associated with solar power installations that take that direct current and then convert it to an alternating current. And just like when that, that, that process happens in reverse, um, it creates dirty electricity, sometimes very high levels. And, and it doesn't mean that you even have to have the solar installation on your property. So the client I was working with the other day, they didn't have a solar installation. They had a neighbor who had a solar installation and they were getting a ton of dirty electricity. Their levels were up, you know, near 2000 millivolts, which is almost taps our meter out <laughs> in terms of the level it's able to read. Um, primarily because, you know, they had a lot coming in and, and we did an interesting test because the way you can tell often that it's a solar installation when you don't have one is that those panels are active during the day, right? So they're gonna be doing a lot during the day at night when it's dark. You know, those inverters don't have anything to convert. So she would see dramatically different, you know, dirty electricity levels in her house at night from her neighbor's solar than during the day. But it was just an example of how even if you're, you're kind of being mindful and trying to reduce sources in your own home, sometimes you can have a lot coming in, you know, off the grid and power lines from what's happening, you know, with your neighbor's equipment. And I have a, there's a building biologist, um, um, friend of mine or you know, person I know through my work who I respect very much. And he's got a great analogy. He's like, now think about it. He's like, if, you know, if your neighbor were to flush their toilet and the sewage was to end up in your nice white porcelain sink, you know, you'd probably be pretty darn mad, right? So it's the same kind of thing with dirty electricity. It's like, we're getting our neighbors, you know, electrical sewage, you know, and, and honestly, they're getting ours. And so, you know, beginning to take efforts to kind of reduce that down is, you know, just one of a great step when you're tackling the different types of EMF pollution. So interesting. I mean, yeah. I would love to keep talking, but we are at the top of the episode today. Yeah. Because um, the solar thing is just you know, it is, it's, it's kind of crazy. I guess we just need to find a more efficient way to convert the energy or make like houses that can have direct currents or something. I don't know. Or, you know, hopefully at some point what will happen is more manufacturers will start to build filtration into these systems mm. and appliances. We're not there yet. But eventually, you know, that may become a requirement. That would be my hope, you know, over the long run is that some of these, you know, especially like, um, you know, HVAC equipment and some of the big producers of dirty electricity, that some of those things you can build it right in and have less of that getting, you know, distributing itself amongst the wiring, but being taken care of right there at the appliance versus getting onto your wiring and, you know, traveling about. <laughs> no, and I thank you for bringing this. It yeah. seems like now, like, will be a topic. It's a new type of pollution. It's a new type of thing. I'm sure our bodies will adapt or adjust. Um, well, hopefully, some will we'll be filters until then, <laughs> until right. we get one. Well, people <laughs> learn more. They're welcome to come to our website, greenwavefilters.com. And we've got lots of information there on dirty electricity and we're, you know, starting to add a lot more and will be over the coming months for the other types of EMF pollution. So if people are interested in educating themselves, you know, definitely greenwavefilters.com. And you guys have a, an, a code that people can use if they want to purchase filters or a meter to get a little bit of a discount. Magic. <laughs> yes, magic. Amazing. Well, thank you, Kim, for being here with yes. us today. It was so much. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> the episode isn't quite over yet, listeners. Or YouTubers. If you haven't given us a like, subscribed, left us a review, or commented on any platform, we would really appreciate you showing us some love here at the Magical Holistic Healing Arts. And remember, Kangen Water and our grab bag for the podcast. Thanks so much for listening, and stay vibrant out there.